The Webb County DA's office will bring back its Make the Right Call program on Super Bowl Sunday. It's a six for the des designated driver initiative. It's all about keeping our community safe and Super Bowl revelers from driving drunk. The Super Bowl is one of America's most highly anticipated sporting events. Friends and family gather at homes, bars, and restaurants to cheer on their favorite team. Alcohol will be a major part of a lot of those celebrations. And while it's up to everyone to make sure drunk drivers stay off the streets, the Webb County DA's office is enlisting International Taxi for help. Juan Valdez has been a part of the program in the past. A lot of people, uh, you know, when they, they get a cab, they say, well, this is, uh, this is too expensive, uh, 15 or $20 from, you know, from uh, one place to another one. I say, yeah, well, this, but this is going to be cheaper. If you get arrested, you're going to have to pay lawyers, fines, and everything. Last year, 19 people took advantage of this program and potentially prevented a fatality or a crash by having a sober ride game plan. Over the last five years, 84 people have used the free ride program. District Attorney Cidro Alaniz says that's a number he would like to see go up. People will, will hopefully uh, make it a, a conscious decision uh, in other events, for New Year's, for Christmas, uh, for other uh, sporting events, that if, you, if you've had a couple of drinks, um, make the right call and call a taxi. In 2013, 1,743 alcohol-related traffic crashes happened in Texas on football game days. 41 people died in those collisions. Valdez says if last year is any indication of the amount of police on patrol and you're drinking and driving, you're going to end up in jail. Oh, yeah. A lot of policemen patrolling. Yes, sir. I, st I, I saw, uh, in, in fact, I saw several of them. Uh, you know, stopping people, you know, but yeah, there was a lot of policemen. Driving drunk is a class A misdemeanor and is punishable by a fine of up to $4,000 and up to one year in jail. That's assuming no one gets hurt or worse.